Taurus, hi, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Tina. Today I'm doing your upcoming weekly tarot and this one will be for roughly January 2nd to the 8th. Now, as always, time is more fluid. The most important thing with these readings is that they resonate. So if it does, just please trust that it is for you. All right, let me give these a few shuffles here. The fool wanted to come out. And let's see what's happening for you this week. For you, Taurus, this first week of January of this new year. All right, we are going to stop here. The situation for you this week. What might be a challenge? Where's your mind at? What are you focused on? Your approach? Any external influences or people in the near future? What is coming towards you? All right. Um, all right. I don't know if there's like a reunion here with somebody that might be a challenge. Um, we'll see. We'll see, but you're definitely taking a moderate approach and something in the environment is actually feeling really nice right now. But the situation is the five of wands. This is like disagreeing, right? It can be inner conflict as well here. It could be competition, right? Um, but it's like you got these characters in this card that should be building something together. And I have a few cards with like, we have two threes here. We have the three of pentacles and the three of cups. You know, there's some people here. There's a group dynamic here that's a bit of a challenge for you. And so that's why I'm like, you have these people here who should be building something together. And instead they're like, you know, nobody's really hurting anybody, but like, look at those wands, just like all over the place, just all over the place. Again, there's a group dynamic that is in the challenge position here. Um, I don't know if it's a reunion here. I don't know if it's maybe um, too much celebrating right now and not enough. I don't know. Um, you guys will know what resonates for you but there's a group dynamic and it's usually around celebrations um this is like your support system your tribe that's the kind of energy that's present there but with where your mind is at and what you're focused on this is about building something together you know this is about really putting in the work to build something together coming together to build something with that three of pentacles it's a very hard working committed energy as well it's like putting the shovel right into the dirt type of energy and also respecting what everybody brings to the table. So that's what's on your mind and that's where your focus right now in building, right? There's something about building together. Your approach is temperance, which I love, especially since the situation is the five of wands. Temperance is like taking a middle path now, no extremes. Making sure that even if you're like, if you're fired up about something, you try to balance that and temper that so that it doesn't come out too extreme, right? So that things remain in balance. It's also a very um, patient approach. You know, temperance is also, why do we take a middle path, right? Because we have a deeper understanding here. And so if you've been going through extreme emotions, which usually happens before temperance, this is saying like, eh, not anymore. It's like too many extremes was not working here. And now you're like, I'll take a middle path here. I'll be patient here. In your environment, we do have the star. It's one of my favorite cards, you know. This can be about a wish come true quite literally, but it's also having renewed hope and faith where you may not have had it in the recent past right it's just you know it's it feeling full again feeling like okay i like i believe in this area again like my environment's starting to feel more hopeful again i'm having more faith in the situation you know but again the star is also like it speaks of a healing period so the environment's feeling very good we're going to pull more cards get a better understanding ourselves coming towards you is the emperor can absolutely be um, an aries here but the emperor is just like, it's a card of conquering, right? And you do it by having the structure set in place, right? You do it by having boundaries. Um, you do it by having like rules and order and discipline. Like there's a method to his ways. That's how the emperor conquers is because of all the structure he has in place. And that's how he can rule an empire, not just a kingdom. He has kings with kingdoms in his empire. Um, all right, it's a conquering energy or it's an Aries, right? Um, so let's see here. The situation is the Five of Wands, so let's go ahead and clarify the Five of Wands for you this week. Let me um, get these cards. One moment. <laughs> so, okay. Let's see what this Five of Wands is about for the situation this week. Starting the new year in a, on a healthy tone, on a healing tone. I really like that. Um, all right, what's this Five of Wands about for you, Taurus? Two more. All right, we will stop here to clarify the Five of Wands. We got the Magician at the bottom. The Devil is here, and the Seven of Swords is here. All right, 
the devil is something there's something toxic to this dynamic right so i don't want to say to this dynamic but to the approach that's been happening this week right um i feel like i don't know you know the seven of swords is like sneaky behavior but the devil's here and right we're shedding some light on it i feel like you're shedding some light on it you're like you know what this hasn't been healthy is kind of what it feels like the situation hasn't been healthy it's been competitive we're, we're maybe we're shouting over each other and everybody's just waiting for their turn to speak but nobody's really listening to the other person it just feels like there's a lot of disagreements here it's you with other people you with other people and, and maybe you don't like it and like now you're just like I need a strategy even if I have to cut my losses with the seven of swords for some of you then I'll cut my losses or maybe you're just like, you know what, people have been shady behind my back and I don't like it and you're just shedding some light on it. But there's something with this group dynamic that's just been like kind of negative or just not bringing out the best in anybody and it's just had some kind of like toxic control, but you know it at this point and you're not liking it at this point. Like I said, I feel like even if, if I'm energies were extreme before, you're at this place now where you have a deeper understanding, you can see that with your approach here with temperance. That's why you're like, you know what? I'll take a middle path. I don't want any extremes right now. I feel like that was kind of going on. It was kind of just like people stopped listening to each other is what it's really feeling like with the five of wands. You know, the seven of swords is just like, it's sabotage type of behavior. Just not good. None of it is like trusting, right? It's that kind of energy here. And so like with the devil being the situation, it's just putting a light on that. Definitely you yourself putting a light on that. All right, in the challenge position, we have the three of cups. It's totally a group dynamic here, like with all these people. Um, there's definitely a group dynamic here and the way we've been approaching it has not been working. And I feel like that's why you're like taking this new approach. And we have like structure coming your way, authority as well with the emperor. That's like a total authority figure. All right, tell me more about the three of cups in your, what might be a challenge, sorry. What's this Three of Cups about for Taurus? All right, let me see. Let's do two more. We're gonna stop here, clarifying the Three of Cups. Yeah, there's a Five of Cups at the bottom. Nine of Wands and the world. Yeah, the way we've been doing it, I don't know how long it's been going on, Taurus, but there's a sadness when it comes to some group dynamic here. Just feeling like, I don't know, it could be regret. It can feel like a loss, you know? But there's a sadness here that's like lingering it's it's under the surface but it's there you know um it's there if we've been fighting i feel like subconsciously there's also a sadness that's there um but the nine of wands is here and the world is here i feel like a chapter here has closed and i think honestly with good reason when i look at these energies i think with good reason because it's 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 not working right like that approach is not working and it's hard for you to keep fighting for this um, with that nine of wands because the nine of wands is a card of perseverance and it's in the challenge position so it's it's quite simply it's hard for you to keep fighting for this um and and the world is here and i think it's just recognizing it may not be the end of of you and these people you you know it's just the end of that chapter with them like things are not going to be the same that's just the way it is right nothing is stagnant the only constant in this world is change it's just Sometimes we embrace it and sometimes we don't like the way it's happening, right? Um, but the world is here and it's saying, you know, there's a chapter here that's closed out. Absolutely. And it's with some people. And definitely it's about the way the dynamics were in this relationship, the approaches we were taking. It wasn't even bringing out the best in everybody anyway, um, honestly. It doesn't, you know, with the devil being there, the five of wands, the seven of swords, wasn't bringing out the best um, in everyone. But your mind is focused on building something together here with that three of pentacles so let's see what's this three of pentacles about for you taurus two cards flipped oh my god ace of cups is at the bottom ace of cups is at the, so is the moon i think there's some fear of the unknown um the moon is not also at the bottom but it was sticking out but the ace of cups is ace of cups wanting to open our hearts here really wanting to open our hearts but you're using your intuition with the high priestess you're going deep within you're using your intuition about how we're going to build this together and the knight of wands i mean i feel like your mind is super active with the, the knight of wands is such an action oriented card so it just feels like your mind is super active um, and it's all around building something together within this group dynamic really simply and you're using your intuition now you're going beneath the surface now. And you're just, you know, you're trying to listen to your gut here, basically. 
you're trying to listen to the voice within here but deep deep you know it's like almost like soul searching it's not quite literally but it's just really using your intuition going within listening to the voice within you know like sometimes you have conversations with yourself and you're like who are you really talking to right is this your higher self right it's the voice within the one that's like, what are you doing? You know better. <laughs> that's your higher self, totally. And like when the high priestess comes up, that's who you're kind of consulting with. Um, and, I t and I think you're using your intuition because like you don't want to go about it the way you've been going because it hasn't been working. And not just you. There's, you know, it always takes two to tango. But this is you using your intuition here about how we're going to build something together because you want to build something together here. Your approach is beautiful temperance, beautiful energy here. What a wonderful card. All right, tell me more about temperance. Making sure that nothing is too extreme or out of balance, right? A middle approach, you know? Tell me about temperance. For you, Taurus, in your approach this week. Okay, obviously we'll take you. Five of Pentacles and Ace of Cups came out. Yeah, I feel like if, if you've felt like rejected or if you felt like you've been alone in the dark i feel like you're, you're now knowing it's not true you know the ace of cups is here in your approach as well this is extreme self-love this is opening your heart there's something here that's going to make your heart really happy and you know it but you're trying to balance out whatever that feeling was of like i don't know rejection right the five of pentacles is feeling like you're missing out feeling like you're being left out feeling like you're not being supported because in the challenge position is your support system right that is your tribe with the three of cups but I, I just feel like there's a deeper understanding here now and and i feel like you're just really opening this like portal for yourself to self-love with the ace of cups you know it's really it's like allowing the love within you the emotions to flow is what you're doing. I feel like you're allowing those emotions to flow. Even if it's like, you know what, I feel like I've been alone, feel it for a moment. You know, if you're feeling it, you can't deny it, even if you know for a fact you're not alone. If you're feeling it, you gotta feel it. You know, I always have a saying, and it's just like, you can't go to it, you gotta grow to it. Um, you can't, I'm sorry, you can't just go there, you have to grow there. And part of that growing there is like facing uncomfortable feelings as well, you know? Um, Definitely, um, but I see I, you just have such a deeper understanding when it comes to the situation. Like you're really starting this new year like with a deeper understanding here. In your environment, we got the star. It can be an Aquarius. I should have mentioned that before. It can be an Aquarius here. No matter how I look at the star, it's such a positive card. It's a healing period. It's a wish come true. It's a card of even self-acceptance, you know? Um, it's a card of giving. It's a very charitable energy. Um, and giving because you're so full that you have to give, right? Like your energy is not depleted. This is renewed hope. This is renewed faith um, in your environment. Very nice. All right. Tell me more about the star for you, Taurus, in your environment. Now let's do two more. We're going to stop here for the star. Page of Cups is at the bottom. Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The star is a major arcana and it's trumping those energies. So even if you have this energy of like, and, and I like it actually. I have to say I do like this energy right now with the Seven of Pentacles. This is you reevaluating things. Reevaluating what is worth investing in. Because I feel like there is a need to reevaluate here. There is a need. Five of Swords wanted to come out. <laughs> Um, but the Nine of Swords, there's, there's, there's a level of stress and anxiety that's been here in your environment, but it is undergoing a healing period. I say healing period because the healing does not happen overnight, you know? The healing does not happen overnight. So it may not feel like it because these emotions and these feelings and these worries or these anxieties, they're still present. The energy is still present because the card is here, you know? But it's the star speaks of a healing period and... and there's something here that's undergoing healing. Maybe you're like, oh God, I had this wish deep in my heart and I don't know why it's not coming true. Who knows? Just who can say for sure that it's not? Honestly, who can say for sure that it's not? Sometimes we don't, we can't see the end path, right? We can't see the end. You just have to like trust the process, right? And trust the journey. But there's an element here of reevaluating. If you're dealing with an Aquarius and it is just an Aquarius, then there's something about that that's causing you anxiety, especially when it comes to the big picture. 
with the seven of pentacles there. You know, that's like quite literal. And for some people, it will be quite literal. But for most of you, I do feel like it's just if there was stress here and there was, it's like it's like a card of sleepless nights here. Like if something's been keeping you up at night, just not allowing you to sleep like a baby, that's undergoing a healing period. And it just, it will take a little bit of time, but there's renewed hope here. There's faith here. Um, it should be here. At least if you're not seeing it, the energy is present there for sure. Coming towards you is the emperor. This is like an authority figure though. So let's go ahead and clarify this emperor. But for me, it's just a conquering energy. Well, let's get some supporting cards. This way we'll understand it a bit better. What's the emperor coming towards you, Taurus? All right, let's do two more. Okay, last one. All right, we got the four of wands with the, oh my God, 10 of cups, eight of cups. <sighs> Maybe if you had a feeling of walking away, I feel like you're, you're conquering that. I think you're conquering that emotion of walking away here. That's definitely what it's really feeling like because there's a reevaluating our approach or there's a reevaluating a situation here. Ten of Cups is like total happiness here, but something wasn't happy here. There it once was. This is happy home, happy family, happy life. This is a card of fulfillment, feeling content, looking around and feeling good with how things are. But the Eight of Cups is there, right? So what once was really beautiful, something happened where it just the happiness wasn't there. There's an element of something was missing, a heaviness to it. But I feel like you're going to conquer those emotions. That's what it really feels like. It's just, you know, that's a conquering energy. And I feel like you're getting a grip on it is what it kind of feels like. You're getting a grip over those emotions. And so you may not walk away here, Taurus. You know, it's a few meanings that come through. But I don't, I don't feel like if you've been thinking about it, I feel like you're going you're gonna to overcome and conquer that energy right now. But there was a happiness here, like especially with these people, and it, it's, it's clearly not there right now, right? Um, but you're, that's why you're using your intuition, you're going within, and you're focused on rebuilding. So I feel like you're, because you're focused on rebuilding here too, I definitely feel like you're conquering this idea of walking away, of like throwing in the towel, right? Of being like, I can't stay here anymore, it's not working. I feel like now you're like, how can I make that work? Okay. I'm going to leave it there for you, Taurus. I do hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please hit that little red box and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for letting me tune into your energies, and I will see you all next week.